Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in this video I am talking about a separating calorimeter. So that will be the combination of the both the effects. So just you can see over here for the measuring of a dryness fraction of a very wet steam. So it will be the different conditions from the throttling calorimeter. So only a highly wet steam. So that will be the limitations or you can say the selection criteria for the measurement of the dryness fractions. So the calorimeter works on a principle of a separating of the water particles from a sample of a steam and finding their mass of the fractions in the samples. So just you can see the construction over here. This one is your main line. So that will be having a steam initially at the P1 and it will be controlled by the control valve after that throttling process over here so that will be controlling by the sampling tube it will be inserting into a inner chamber you can say the chamber so what happened generally separating calorimeters consist of a inner chamber over here and outer chamber over here so what happened due to the inertia of that particular water droplets the wet steam is separated. So from here separated droplets is collected in an inner chamber over here. This you can see over here by the striking and while the steam is condensed in the barrel calorimeter control valve and the sampling tube perform the same function as in the barrel calorimeters. So in that case of the working of the separating calorimeters so when the steam is supplied to the calorimeter from the main steam lines through a sampling tubes over here entering stream strike against a that particular perforated tray so over here as yes, you can see that perforated tray so by that particular striking over here that steam and water particles it will be separate out so that particular water it will be collected over here and remaining steam it will be into further process so dry steam passes through the annual space like here it will be indicating with the green colors and the steam is condensed in a barrel calorimeter so at the below portion of that particular separating it will be a barrel calorimeter as we already discussed into my previous lectures so this steam is condensed into the barrel calorimeter so here controlled by a control valve this highly steam it will be heat exchange with water particles so what happen the quantity of the steam condensed can be measured by a weighting scale it will be provided here and quality quantity of the water droplets separate by the measurement from the scales so it will be the combination of the two like a separating calorimeter is being used with the barrel calorimeter the rest of the experiment will be same as we discuss into the barrel calorimeters so for the calculation part so just you can see over here mass of water in a chamber or you can say mass of water in chamber in kg and mass of steam in calorimeter you can say mass of steam in calorimeter and x is representing as a dryness fraction so what happened as from the dryness fractions is being discussed mass of that particular steam it will be present into the water particles and divided by total so that equation is being used for measurement of a dryness fractions 
So basic limitations of such kind of is that the calorimeters only gives the approximate value of x. So that will be the main limitation of such kind of separating calorimeters measurement for the dynast fractions. So if you like it and if you subscribe and share mechanical magic, mechanical learning tutorials.